conducted a freedom of information requests, multiple freedom of information requests from various prohibited corporations, municipalities, school boards, post-secondary institutions, and so on. And through that, I think we assembled some 2,300 pages of documentation. We've determined that the PCs accepted at least $102,776 in illegal donations between 2004 and 2010. That's over $100,000 of taxpayer dollars that should have gone to roads or classrooms or research that instead wound up in the PC party election war chest. Albertans deserve to know. The PCs have actively tried to keep this information a secret. And it's easy to see why. They've been campaigning with over $100,000 that doesn't belong to them. It belongs to taxpayers. Number two, this is a crucial test for Jim Prentice's leadership. Earlier this week when we revealed that Minister Stephen Mandel billed taxpayers for a donation that he made to the PC party, he committed to paying it back. And that's good, although it took getting caught for him to do it. The question is now, will Jim Prentice follow suit? He has a choice. He can choose to do nothing and keep $100,000 of taxpayer dollars in his party's coffers, perhaps to even, even use in, the, in these by-elections. Or he can act, show he's actually serious about changing the PC culture of entitlement and return the money to taxpayers. We're going to